In this problem, we're told to find the repulsive electrical force between two protons that are 4 times 10 to the minus 15 meters apart from each other in an atomic nucleus. Right, so we have two protons, and this is their distance, right? And so what we're trying to do is find the repulsive electrical force. So how do we do that? So basically, you can solve for uh, right, electrical force, F sub C, I'm going to call it, which is equal to this formula, K, which is a constant, multiplied by Q1 times Q2, and then divide by R squared. Right, so this is the formula we're going to use to solve. So let's just write down what we're given first. So they tell us the distance between these two particles, and essentially what that is is the radius. So in this formula, they give us the radius, and so they tell us that the radius is 4 times 10 to the minus 15 meters. So we know the radius, and then we need to determine k, q1, and q2. So k is just a constant, which is something you just have to memorize. And so what k is, it's basically 8.988, right? multiplied by, or sorry, 8.988 times 10 to the 9, and then the units are Newton meters squared over uh, Coulomb squared, right? So that's K, so we have K and R now, and basically we need to determine the charge of both particles, right? So they're going to be identical, right? Because they're just protons in this atomic nucleus, right? And so basically the charge of a proton is the same for all particles. And so you need to know the charge is... 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 uh, coulombs, right? So they're going to be the exact same, right? Because they're just both protons. And this is the, and you also need to know, right? Protons and electrons have the same charge. So basically this is the same for electrons too. But uh, now we know the charge of Q1 and Q2. So all we have to do now is just plug it in, right? So F sub C is equal to K, which is 8.988 times 10 to the 9. And I'm not going to write the units, but it's all going to cancel out to newtons anyway. And then it's 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19, right, times uh, the same thing, right? So basically just square it. So 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19, and then square that. And then we divide by the radius squared. So the radius is 4 times 10 to the minus 15 squared, right? So you want to do this 8.988 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 1.602 times 10 to the 19 squared, divided by 4 times 10 to the minus 15 squared. And when you do this, you're going to get F sub C equals 14.4 newtons. So you can round to 14 if you want, and just say 14 newtons. But essentially, the repulsive force is 14.4 newtons. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.